I would be remiss if I didn't mention, and it's important to remember amidst the chaos of a triple threat match, that victory can be achieved in many different ways, and that it's every man for himself. The Velveteen Dream already has an iconic style, Legion oh, of fans, man. and multiple Match of the Year candidates. And the amazing thing is that the guy's only 23 years old. Now you can be sure that by the time the Velveteen Dream finishes performance, a heck of a lot of people are going to know his name. At 2016's Clash of Champions, it was another classic triple threat match for the Raw Women's Championship. It was Bailey versus the boss, Sasha Banks, versus the champion, Charlotte Flair. The match started out more like a singles match between the boss and the queen. Bailey learned very quickly it was every woman for herself. Ooh, what impact. Back in the ring again. Boom, what impact. It's hard not to recognize what Shane McMahon has done when it comes to Hell in a Cell. As Corey was saying, but at what point is enough enough? Come on, Michael. There's no such thing as enough when it comes to Shane McMahon. Even you know that. He's not looking like himself here. But things can change in an instant in a triple threat match. I know it's early, but he has to do everything in his power not to let this get out of hand. I don't know about you guys, but for me, there is no greater thrill than being at the announce desk for a Hell in a Cell match. Beautiful technique. He's got him covered. Dream pops the shoulder up. Wow. Oh, he's got him up. Boom! We've seen it on so many occasions. Corey, a superstar, has the match won, and all they have to do is pin their opponent. Or a submission is locked in, and the person is fractions of a second away from tapping out, and that's when it hits. The third participant in the match comes in to break things up and launch an attack on their own. There is no time to spare in a triple threat match. Just when a superstar thinks the match is theirs for the taking, and they're moments away from victory, the ring is yanked out from under them with no warning. That's why in a triple threat, a competitor must move carefully and swiftly, or it could cost them the match. After months on the sidelines, Mike Kanellis wanted to make an impact. And he did just that by invading 205 Live and interrupting a match between Leo Rush and Lince Dorado. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh boy, he is rolling. Uh-oh. He's on his heels. Parker brought us back to Mike Kanellis' debut on 205 Live. You know, there's ways to make an impact besides ruining a match you have no part in. Mike made some rivals by running in on Rush and Dorado. Oh, okay, so you think Mike Kanellis cares about enemies. He is all about love. With his wonderful wife by his side, he's turning 205 Live into 205 Love. Well, love's gonna have a price. Looks like he's starting to falter. We're all going to find out what he's made of here in this triple threat match. Mike Canales has a newfound focus and determination since joining 205 Live. What's the strategy against this guy? Well, he's reformed himself physically, emotionally, and now he's fighting for his wife and child. This guy has a mountain of motivation on his side, fellas. Cedric Alexander looking to take the lumbar check. So impressive. A pin attempt. As Corey alluded to, Mike Canales isn't the pushover he was a year or two ago. How do you combat his newfound passion? You gotta take it back to basics, Michael. Don't make him emotional and don't test his strength. Maintaining focus and working on fundamentals is key to victory here. Boom! Michinoku driver. Oh, nasty impact. Look at this. And he got a near fall out of it. Still in it. Of course, guys, we all remember when the Hell in a Cell debuted in 19... He hits it. Canales brings everyone to their feet. This one is over. Velveteen Dream's just getting overwhelmed. What is keeping this competitor going? How'd he do that? Uh-oh. Watch out. Good grief. What a toss into the turnbuckle. 
This can't be legal. Totally ruthless, but effective. Now, looks like his shoulders are down. Two! He gets the shoulder up in time. Cedric Alexander proving he's no pushover with that kick out. Technique. Ooh, Canel is just barely getting out of the way. Whoa, Alexander dodged that one. Barely. He's making a statement here with this attack. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh no, he's taken down. You know, I don't think he has much left. He's in trouble. Yeah, if he hits this, the match is over. Cedric Alexander soaring through the sky. That was a close line. Line. What impact. That should do it. But now, can Cedric capitalize? Uh -oh. At the elbow. Oh, my goodness. Crushing it. The cover. One, two. This guy just refuses to quit. I don't believe it. He refuses to lose. Oh boy, he is winning. Slam down hard. And there's his speed paying off. There it comes, just breaking down the opponent. What a hellaciously physical match these gladiators have put themselves through. The intensity of this has been incredible. inside the ring now. And Cedric Alexander oh. is really taking a pounding. His outlook is not good at all. Cedric needs to find that willpower he's known for. He's teetering on the edge here. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. is over. This place is going nuts. 